I'm Matthew Allison, here to practice flute with you, and today we're going to practice the thumb B flat. The thumb B flat is the key back here on the back of the flute, which gives us another option of playing the B flat. There are actually three ways to finger B flat on the flute. The first one that most of us learn as students is thumb, first finger, right hand, first finger, and pinky, um, which makes use of both hands for this B flat. And that's a great B flat for us to occasionally use or use um, as, as necessary. But there are other options as well. One is the lever, and the one that we're going to talk about today is the thumb B flat. So you might notice on the back of the flute there are two keys where we can put our thumb. One is a little bit more um, long, oval, rectangular shape, and the other is more circular or round. Um, when I use the thumb B flat, I actually put my thumb on both keys at the same time. And I do that so I can get off the thumb B flat if for some reason I need to move quickly. Um, you might notice when you press the B key back here, no other keys on the flute move. But when we shift our thumb up and press the rounder one, the thumb B flat, this key at the top of our flute, or near the top of our flute moves. This key up here is actually the B flat key. The key down here that we have been using for B-flat is the F key, and notice how many other keys change with it. Part of the reason we use the thumb B-flat is so that we can play some passages faster. Um, it helps free up our technique. Um, part of the reason we use the thumb B-flat is because it's a lot quieter. There are fewer keys moving, so it's less clanky. Now to begin using it. So when we first begin using thumb B-flat, I like to encourage my students to take their right hand and grab the barrel near the top of the flute, near the head joint, um, simply to keep them from accidentally using their one and one B flat. So let's begin by fingering B flat with a thumb. So put the thumb on both keys back here and the index finger on the C key as we normally would. And let's just play that B flat. And notice it sounds the same as your B flat with one and one. Hand back on the barrel if you moved it. Now we're going to move between a B flat and a C natural. So we're just going to lift thumb and put it right back down on that key or both of those keys. Uh, let's do chord notes to begin. One, two, three, four. Let's try eighth notes, moving a little faster. One and two and three and four. And you can see that's allowing the, the B flat and C trill to move uh, more quickly and, and easier. And only one hand is needed. Now let's move between the B flat and A. So leaving the thumb on both of those keys, to move to A, we just put the middle finger down. So instead of alternating middle finger and index finger, we're just going to move one finger. Let's try that. Quarter notes begin. One, two, three, four. And eighth notes, one, and two, and three, and four. And so on and so forth. So I have also created a practice book that will really help us get used to the thumb B flat. I suggest that if you haven't gotten it yet, you go to practiceflute.com and download it from the products, or there should be a link directly to the digital download below this YouTube video. It's called Flute Students Steps to Success, The Thumb B Flat, and other options. The next thing on the handout, or the uh, digital download, would be moving still with the right hand on the barrel, G, lift one finger to A, lift one finger to B flat, lift the thumb to C, Let's try just doing that. G, A, B flat, C. Ready? Go. And let's move down. C, B flat, A, G. One, two. Ready? Go. So that's a great way of getting started for thumb B flat. For the rest of this video, I'm just going to go straight through the practice uh, book, Flute Student Steps to Success, the Thumb B-flat. Um, so the second exercise is actually going to go up that scale and then move between the B-flat and C. You can leave the right hand on the barrel. One, two, three, four. Now 
sometimes we have to move off the thumb B flat, and fortunately the other key is quite close. On the second page, the first example is going to have us move up the scale with the thumb B flat on, and then move off the thumb B flat for the B naturals, and then come down the scale with the thumb B flat back on. Let's give that a try. Uh, first, let me demonstrate for you. Three, four. Let's try together. One, two, three, four. And do take note that the accidental B natural is good for the whole measure, but the B on the other side of that measure is going to be a B flat again. So it's G, A, B flat, C, B, C, B, C. B flat, A, G. Now let's return the right hand to the flute, and we're going to start with the F. So we're just going to go up and down the five note scale pattern of F major, and with the thumb B flat on, and staying on for all of this, except for C, we'll lift one finger at a time. F, lift the first finger for G, lift the third finger for A, lift the second finger for B flat, lift the thumb for C, and going back down. So let's try that. This is the second page, the second example. One, two, three, four. Now, as we get comfortable with this, we can start applying it more. On the second page, you'll notice there's a section with F major. That's simply the F major five note scale pattern in two octaves. So practice that at your leisure. And then the next thing is actually a piece of music that we can use the thumb B flat that's also an F major. So this is Gavotte by Pretorius. And let me demonstrate it for you first. Try playing that together. We'll go a little slower for this time through. One, two, three, four. The book continues with five note patterns in B flat major, and then a tune to go along with that. Um, trilling from B flat to A foot, uh, B flat to A flat, and then E flat major five note scale patterns, a tune in E flat major, A flat major five note scale patterns, and a tune in A flat major. Then full scales in F major, B flat major, E flat major, and A flat major. And finally, it ends with, the, um, with some examples from standard repertoire. So we have Percy Granger's Children's March. Or a little clip from it that allows us to use a thumb B flat. We have a little selection from the Larghetto movement of Handel's Sonata in F. And about 
20 other measures of that. And then we have a little bit of the minuet by Bizet from La Lesrienne. about switching on and off the thumbie flat. I hope you found this little intro to the thumbie flat useful and if you have um, any other questions or comments please feel free to comment on the station here and I would love to hear your comments below of the first piece that you've applied your thumbie flat to. Again check out practiceflute.com and consider um, purchasing for digital download it's only two dollars the flute student steps to success the thumbie flat and other options. Thank you, and enjoy your day as you practice flute.